Okay, this is level four, three magnetic field of a bar magnet. I kind of introduced this lab. So analyzing on axis and off axis magnetic fields to do a bar magnet using manometer on a phone and then modeling that magnetic field in glow script using the experimental data. And so one of the results was the, the magnetic moment was found to be about 0.7. And then the experiment was successful, but there are many possible sources of error. And so the purpose of this lab was to analyze distance dependence of a magnetic field due to a small bar magnet, and then modeling the bar magnet's magnetic field and glow script. And this was also to determine if the models are accurate with respect to the experiment. And so fundamental principle, so the Biel-Savar law was the overarching principle here. And then going more into that, so it would be due to a magnetic field due to a magnetic dipole, both on axis and on axis fields. And then this is dependence of the magnetic field was an important aspect of this uh, experiment. Uh, initially, so the system was magnetic, uh, was the magnet phone and magnetic field due to the earth. And then the surroundings was, the, was my bedroom where the lab was conducted. And then roughly zero magnetic field on the Y axis. And then when, when analyzed perpendicular magnetic fields, roughly zero on the X axis, this was to ensure that the Earth's magnetic field was not affecting the experiment. Uh, observation, so when the mag magnometer is far away from the magnet, uh, it measures a near zero or magnetic field in the X direction. And then as the magnometer moves closer, the measured X component of the magnetic field increases. And then the orientation of the phone had an effect on the magnetic field. So as for the data, so this was the on-axis data. And as the uh, phone got closer to the magnet, the strength of magnetic field increased. And then this was the off-axis field data. And perpendicular distance found to be about 0.17. This was the corrected value. And then um, this was the graph uh, with respect to all this data. And so for the results, so the end value was that slope. So that's negative uh, 3.77, and this was the K value. And then again, mu, the magnetic moment was 0.7. And so as for the model, so this was the code. Um, this was the function for the magnetic field. And this was the inputting the magnetic moment over here. This is the scale and distance used for the arrow to represent the field. These were the vectors for the uh, field arrows. And then over here, these were the arrows that actually represent the field. So this is on axis, on axis, and then these four were the perpendicular component. And then down here, this represents the magnetic field when it was at a 45 degree angle. So the result, so these were the values of the magnetic fields that were found. This was the D value, and then this was the magnetic field at a 45 degree angle. And when looking at the D value, the D value is identical, but then the magnetic field uh, was different from the uh, one in the experiment. So as for what if and what and why, so if the magnetic north wasn't accounted for, the results of the experiment would have been much more inaccurate since the magnetic field of the Earth would have had a much greater effect on the results. And then if the two identical magnets were stuck together, why? Um, the strength of magnetic field would be doubled. And then also assuming the orientation of the first magnet is the same, the direction would also be the same. And that's why the strength would be doubled. Uh, conclusion and, source, or, and sources of error. So starting with error, the degree of error in the tenth place with respect to measurements of distance or magnetic field. So that messes up the numbers. And then the magnetic field was not completely constant about the experiment. It would fluctuate a little bit. And then this was also, also um, it was highly likely that the Earth's magnetic field was not completely zero during experimentation. Um, it could never completely reach zero. And then location of magnometer used in the experiment was not exact. It was close, but probably wasn't 100%. As, for the, as to conclude, so distance is inversely proportional to field strength. And then the model likely yielded more accurate results in the experiment since the Earth's magnetic field still had an effect even though it was accounted for. Thank you for watching.